carbon fibre frame. This breaks. Yeah, you just realise it's going to be covered in sick after about a week. Right, Noah, teeth. Done. Hair. Done. OK, come on. What are you doing? We're going to be late. You are not making this back to front. You are not making me late on today of all days. It's not my fault. <laughs> exactly. Look, the kid can't be expected to remember everything. And anyway, you're the boss, almost. You can arrive when you want. Oh, seriously, smell the freeze-dried coffee substitute and enjoy your family. OK, baby, you know we're going out tonight, yeah? Hello, Jeremy Clarkson. Hey. Meal tonight, celebrate my deal. Yeah. Please, say you haven't forgotten. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. See ya. Yeah, uh, sorry, see you, Noah. See you later. Come on, then. What? Spare a little time for the family you actually have here? At home? I don't know what you're on about. Oh, I think you do. Dad called. Can't get anything in or out. Look at it. Well, I'll shift them on top. Where? I don't know. The river. Look, don't get worked up about it. Go home, rest. Well, actually, I was going to go and see Chaz. I thought you two had said everything that needed saying. So, you are mad with her? Oh, well, yeah. Listen, I don't blame you, but... Just try and give her a chance. There's got to be more to it. I, I reckon she could really do with a friend. Right, I'm not one to tell you what you can and can't do, but if I was you, I'd steer clear of trouble, you know? You focus on matters at hand. Yes, I, I'll ask Mr King to put a quote in the post. No, you're very welcome. Goodbye. Edna, thought I heard your voice. And I was just passing and I heard the telephone ringing. So you thought you'd answer it? <laughs> Edna, you're too kind. You should be at home with your feet up. Touch you on your lap. Well, I'll just make you both a drink and then I'll be on my way. Good morning, gentlemen. Sorry I'm late. Um, have I missed anything? Nothing important. Edna, what are you doing here? I was just making Mr James and Mr Carl a drink. Oh, well, look, there's no need. I even got one for you, Mr James. OK, thanks. My absolute pleasure. Have you got a minute? In the office? Yeah. Edna, you need to go home. Don't think you're insured to be here out of work hours. That's not right. <laughs> oh, don't worry about me. Not you, them two. Her and him. All secret looks and have you got a minute? What's happened? Whatever he's drinking, please. We're having a chat. I'm already having one of them with Chaz. That's not the sort I meant. We're having a bloke chat. It's bloke time. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and me. I'm not going to be sidelined in my own business by the latest floozy to share our office. Not that charity are you calling her that? I mean it. I've known you all my life, Carl. I know when there's a woman messing with your head. Do I need to point out that she's married? And a bitch. You think it's charity? <laughs> you couldn't be more wrong, mate. So there is someone. Did I actually say that? Oh, no. All the obsessing over the wedding. The 30 grand. <sighs> Tell me you're not serious. She's about to get married. She hates you. And for so many really brilliant reasons. Hi, guys. Oh, you've been splashing some serious cash. Never mind them. Let's get you seated. Oh, babe, not that I'm hinting or anything, but if you are ever out shopping, not that you go shopping is allergic. You want to get yourself a Mr. Big like our Rach? Loving your style, Rach. Go. I was going to look for you in the pub and then I saw the lights on. What's up? What do you want, Jimmy? Don't be like that. I'm... I'm just trying to look out for you. That's not how it works. I look out for you, you're the div, remember? Except not this time. Clearly. I'm going to make some coffee and then I'm going to do some talking. 
and you're going to do some listening. Wake up, Carl. You're being delusional. Somebody's got to get hurt. They always do. That's right, get hysterical. <sighs> you on your own. Chaz on her own. Fine. But together. Oh, something terrible happens. It always does. We've never had a proper chance. Think about what you two have already cost us! Go home. Scurry back to your own pathetic little relationship. I'm not gonna let you do this to yourself. Or her. I'm warning you, Carl. I'm gonna knock some sense into you, whatever it takes. I know what I'm doing. Chaz knows what she is doing, and that is all that counts, isn't it? You and the rest of them. Just try interfering and see what that gets you.